adult collectors make up one quarter of action figure sales. So let's go ahead and help out the younger ones by donating to Toys for Tots. You can check it out in the right hand corner of the screen or down below, depending on the device. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors, and happy holidays or Merry Christmas to you, whichever one you would prefer, because, eh, you know, today folks prefer something different. Today we're going to be taking a look, regardless of which one you celebrate, Father Christmas in the Figura Obscura lineup from the Four Horsemen Studios. It's that time he came last night during Christmas Eve to all the good little girls and boys and maybe some of those who were on the naughty list to deliver some presents, but today we're going to be taking a look at the figure. And oh boy, what a release this one was. All the accessories were shown, right? That's not true. There were some hidden surprises for collectors who picked this one up. Now, unfortunately, sales have ended, but perhaps there may be another release at some point in the future, right? Who knows, but now if you're looking to get this one, perhaps you need some help to sway you one way or another. Well, congratulations, this is quite the action figure. So let's take a look to see whether or not Father Christmas should visit you, at some point in the future, into your collection. So in the looks department, I do have to say that basically the heavy lifting here is going to be for the soft goods. As the manufacturers like to say these days, and the buck, quote unquote, underneath is going to be reused from another Mythic Legions figure. Not that this is a Mythic Legions proper, but you know what I'm talking about if you do collect four horsemen products. We'll take a look at that a bit closer in the accessories section. Now, that being said, by default, he comes with a big bushy bearded head sculpt along with a nice red robe with a gold trim to it along with some white parts as well. There is going to be some purple underneath for the Royal Majesty appearance, and he's going to come with brown gloves and gauntlets. Is this a battle Santa? Along with some gray boots. I do have to say for quality control, both this and the alternate head sculpt, which I believe is going to be reused from a different Mythic Legions figure, which is fine, you know, they got to reuse some parts. Um, overall, everything does look rather solid with nice quality control. I will say some of the gold trimming, uh, some of the parts there is starting to come off on mine a little bit, so I'm going to keep an eye on that, but nevertheless, it looks fine. Two things of note. One, as I do cover in the following section, the white parts on Father Christmas here, particularly around the wrists, that it's going to have bendy wire along with the bottom as well, and the little pockets on the waist area around the thighs, you can put stuff in there as well. Daddy Christmas's articulation, well, here's the blank body. As you move him around, you may accidentally undo the belt, as you will probably see in this section, and you will see, we'll go ahead and walk you through that in the accessory section, you can take all of his clothing off. You'll see that uh, it's, it's going to be a brown blank body, except for the boots, which are going to be gray, but uh, let's go ahead and snap back to reality. Uh, you know, for the articulation, you saw how all the joints are sort of worked out here for the engineering, but uh, since, again, this is intended to be Father Christmas and not that blank body, let's see how the engineering works just on him. So for the alternate head parts entirely, uh, it's going to be a ball joint where the head plugs in. So he can look up about that far, down about that far, a little bit more with the alternate head since the beard is not that long. Uh, but nevertheless, we can rock from side to side, twist and turn, thankfully good range of movement for the shoulders as you saw we do have swivels and hinges which actually even with the coat we can spin that around no big deal there so that will not stress out too much and then this is something to be careful out of the box so um we do have swivels and hinges at the elbow so there's no true bicep swivel but as you can see we do have a nice hinge that reaches just about 90 degrees and then no bicep swivel but we do swivel at the elbow the reason I say be careful, push the sleeves up because both of the hinges, the elbow hinges, they were pointed in different directions that were not natural to the elbow, meaning they were pointed out to the side. So naturally you go to move it that way, you're going to get a snap and it doesn't work. This one over here was actually stuck and it was stuck with paint. Now, heat method, how do you do it? Two ways to get it freed up. First and foremost, you can just pull the sleeve back and gently with a blow dryer, you can hit it with heat and you'll free it up. Second method is you can put him in a plastic bag and throw him in hot water. Make sure the bag is sealed very, very tight. That will loosen up the joints as well, just as if you were to run this figure under hot water um, like you would normally, like let's say a Marvel Legends or a Figuarts where you have joints that you may need to just loosen up a little bit. Now, 
Continuing on with that, um, we do have actually swivels for the gauntlets. So they can move around on their own, which is pretty cool. Wrists, they swivel and then hinge in and out. Very, very small hinges, so be careful if they are stuck. As you saw, we do have an ab crunch because of the big coat. Um, it is a little bit tight in the range of movement, but that's fine. We do have a waist joint as well, so we can twist and turn from side to side. The coat does have a bendy wire in it, or at least it seems to be that way, so we get some movement there. We can make it flowing in the wind, which is nice. Cool. So let's go ahead and move this up out of the way. Oh no! So we do have swivels and hinges for the hips. So we can kick out about that far and do the splits and forward and back movement unrestricted, which is nice. We do have dedicated thigh swivels, which is good. And we have single hinge knees, which have pretty good range of movement. Once again, if the joint is stuck, do not force it. Swivels for where the knee plugs into the lower portion of the leg, which is good. Then for the ankles, where they plug in, we do have hinges for forward and back movement along with ankle swivels. And I will note, he does have some smaller feet, it looks like proportionally, but nevertheless, uh, one thing to note, he can be difficult with all of the accessories on him when he has a full loadout, uh, and he tends to be a little top heavy, so something to keep in mind when we take a look at the accessories, actually, as we kind of already saw, uh, the stick is something that is helpful to keep them balanced. So overall for articulation up uh, fine. I mean, you know, double hinges would be nice that are worked in well, just because I mean, everything's pretty much hidden up, but you can get daddy Christmas into some fun poses. All right. The moment you have all been waiting for, and that is going to be the accessories section. What do we get? Well, we get one hood, two different wreath crowns cool alternate head sculpt we get one fabric bag of goodies that have some stuff inside we'll take a look at that in a second we get one plastic bag of goodies which already has some toys spilling out we get one little elf toy we get a trumpet we get a drum and we get a walking stick with a lantern let's hit the ground running and talk about this because there's a whole bunch of stuff so we are going to get the alternate head sculpt which i already kind of talked about at the beginning and i believe this is going to be in another mythic legions head sculpt which was included which one i don't specifically know um, but I believe I've seen this before recently with some other folks talking about this particular figure, but nevertheless, it does fit. I mean, we do have another look for Father Christmas here. Again, let's go ahead and talk about some of the stuff. So we do have the wreath crown. We get two of them, and I believe they are identical. Why they would include two of them, I don't quite know. Perhaps just so this way you're going to have another figure join into the Christmas goodness, but nevertheless, it's fine. No real issues. Fits rather awkwardly. Um, I guess that may be an issue, but nevertheless, it's, it's good. It, it's serviceable, no problem. We do have the hood, which I think this may be a good time to talk about the clothing on Father Christmas as well, but let's go ahead and talk about the hood for right now. And uh, actually, let's go ahead and talk about everything that involves popping off the heads. So for the hood, just the way it looks, it's fine. It's rather nice, and it includes the idea of the bendy wire around the white parts, so this way you can shape it and mold it however you would like, and it doesn't feel like it's going to pop out at all. So the way that you work the different parts for the head and the plastic bag of goodies is that you're actually going to need to pop off the head sculpt, whichever one you have for Father Christmas. Then for the bag, you're just going to sling that over an arm and it's pretty easy to figure out. Now, this is how you're going to do the hood. You're going to actually wrap that around the neck joint and there's a clasp that goes over it. Then you just pop the head sculpt on and you pull the hood over. Keep in mind, though, you are going to have red fabric on white fabric and you will have transfer. Just be careful there. Now, for stripping Father Christmas down, uh, the belt and in the articulation section, I referenced this. It actually accidentally came undone. It popped apart in the back. Then once you take that belt off, then you can actually use a clasp that is around the chest area for the red jacket. And then that comes undone. And then you can do the purple garments undone with the back where there's a piece of Velcro. And then you basically just have a naked Father Christmas in a suit of armor. So he's not naked, but he's in a suit of armor. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about here. So we'll revisit this here in just a little bit. So what else does he come with? Well, he does come with that plastic baggie of toys, which everything is pre-sculpted in there. And the paint application looks rather solid with no real issues here, except for maybe a little bit of a masking issue here or there. Something doesn't have all the paint, but I mean, it looks fine from a distance, no real issues. And the plastic is just flexible enough that I don't think this will break anytime soon. 
for the walking stick, the staff of justice, if you will, for Father Christmas. Looks like wood, no issues there. And there is going to be that lantern that does not light up. I really wish this could have. That would have just made this so much cooler. But with some photography trickery, I'm sure you could get that done. What I do think would have been really cool, though, is if this could have opened up. That would have just sealed the deal for me personally. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on. We do have the trumpet, which looks cool. He can actually hold this just well enough so this way he can sort of look like he's playing it and then we have the drum which is going to be able to be suspended from his belt there is going to be a little hook there that allows him to do that the gold paint actually looks really nice let's go ahead and talk about the tree for a second the tree okay cool it's already assembled. It's difficult to disassemble. So when you get the tree out of the box, it is going to have a little bendy wire stem and that plugs into a little miscellaneous brown piece of plastic. You're going to probably <laughs> wonder what it's for. Then that plugs into the white base. The flocking on it a little bit it was kind of falling off just from the get go. And it's about as tall as Father Christmas once fully assembled. It looks fine. No real issues. However, something that I will point out is if you do walk into a Walmart this time of the year, you can find a very similar tree. Bigger looks a bit nicer for just a buck. Again, keep that in mind. Now, we do have a little elf toy, which is just made of plastic, and this is something that he can hold or he can put into his pocket with no real issues, and it's cool. It's nice. Now, it'd be really neat if he did come with other toys, and that's what the cloth sack is for. Apparently, this is a spoiler, so if you don't like spoilers, then uh, we'll just talk about two things in there, and then we'll move on to the two things which are truly spoilers. So, in the sack, he is actually going to come with two other toys. One of them you already kind of saw here is going to be a little dog toy, which is probably my favorite of the bunch. And it's really nice, painted rather well, looks good. Then we are going to have a rubber ducky, made of plastic. Looks fine too. This is comical, and I really like this. Now, here's going to be the two spoiler parts, so go ahead and skip over a few seconds if you'd like. These are going to be two head sculpts that are going to be apparently new upcoming ones for the Mythic Legions lineup. Um, I really don't have too much of a use for these, but hey, cool if you're a Mythic Legions fan. Now let's go ahead and get into some action shots, which, I mean, there's so many different opportunities here for Father Christmas. There's no way that I can possibly convey all the different fun opportunities you can have with this figure. You can have him delivering presents. You can have a battle Santa Claus if you want. Um, and then you can go ahead and strip them down. Here's going to be another spoiler. Jump ahead, hit the right uh, arrow key on your keyboard or just tap on your phone. You can strip them down and you can just have a generic night. Cool. 360 spin view. Here you go. One more accessory I haven't talked about yet, but I will in a couple of seconds here. We've got to get the 360 spin view. So overall, Father Christmas comes with quite a bit. Something that is notably missing, though, is he only comes with one set of hands. He does not come with any sort of splayed hands. So the two extra toys that come in the cloth sack, he can't hold. He just has to place somewhere, which is a bit upsetting. Why? Uh, what's uh, what do you do with them? You just set them down. So you are going to have to, you know, get other figures to use them, which is fine. But yeah, also, he can't really hold the trumpet too well to make it look like he's playing with it. He just kind of has to hold it on the side. So better engineering for the articulation would be appreciated. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the thing that's behind him, the backdrop. The figure obscura lineup does actually include backdrops pretty much. So here we do get one for Father Christmas, and that's great because you can put this on the shelf behind him and it looks really cool. It looks like he's got a little town, so this way he can deliver presents. Very, very nice. Also, here's going to be the backside to it. It is magnetic, so make sure you keep it away from electronic devices so you don't accidentally wipe any data. The Nendoroid Kirby is known to unfortunately wipe hard drives, so not a stretch to think that this one, which has actually stronger magnets than Krampus, uh, may do the same. And here's going to be a size comparison with the 2022 holiday slash Christmas Figura Obscura figures from the Four Horsemen. Just going to go ahead and throw Father Christmas and the Red Krampus up on the table so you get an idea how they're both going to be, because I would assume, you know, maybe folks would go ahead and get both. 
All right, buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. There are some limitations to this figure, but honestly, it is extremely fun. I really do like this, and I think so far, this is going to be my favorite figure in the Figura Obscura lineup. Not able to do a deluxe review just for time constraints. I really do like the figure. If you're thinking about getting it, it is absolutely going to be worth the purchase. There is going to be the Naughty or Nice lineup from the Fresh Monkey Fiction Company, which, hey, they're doing some cool stuff as well. I did want to review their stuff, but unfortunately, I'm cranking this one out at the last minute, um, so I wasn't able to cover that. So, great alternative as well, but this one is really nice, comes with a ton of stuff, and if you are looking to get some other stuff on Etsy, kind of like I did here, you can really enhance your display. This is quite possibly one of the best Christmassy options on the market. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now you have heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up. Thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.